Hello, and this is my 2018 Giant Trance 2 review. As you can see, I got some mud on this, so I have done some riding on this. This isn't like a first look type of video. Just gonna go over some specifications, what I like and what I kind of don't like. So first off, the only thing I've changed on this bike so far is the stem. I got my Spank spike stem here. Um, zero degree, just personal preference. I will get a carbon bar in the future uh, and, and maybe a thicker tire in the front, but I think that's about it. I I'm pretty satisfied with the bike. Uh, new rims, obviously. I'll get to that later. So first, I'm just going to start with the cockpit. You've got 780 wide uh, riser bar, 20 millimeter rise, pretty sure. You got SLX brakes. I like these brakes. I like the black. The previous Trans 2017 Trans 2 came with uh, Dior, so this is an upgrade for the next model, 2018. I did some minor cable management because the wires or the cables are kind of a little bit all over the place. You've got SLX shifter. It's pretty good. It's heavy, but it's reliable and durable. Uh, one thing I like about this bike, or how Giant set this up once the bike has fallen. One thing I like about the cockpit and what they did is, uh, I think this is like iSpec, iSpec B or iSpec or something. It's really clean. It's not two, you know, two bar clamps. It's one. It's got the Shimano integrated there. And you've got the, the dropper lever. Um, this is okay. I find that the spring tension is a little low. So the return can be slow. This is personal preference compared to my reverb. And I also find that because this takes a while to get back up, my dropper will go down because I think that this is on its full return. What I end up doing sometimes is I'll, when I'm pushing down, I'll put my thumb underneath it just to make sure it's all the way up because what happens is I'll push it down and I'll think it's, you know, on its return and it isn't. And I'll put my butt down and the seat post will drop a little bit because I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little slow for my personal preference. So I'm gonna see if I can tighten up the uh, spring tension and, or just replace the dropper lever all around. This is the return um, speed knob adjustment. Now, the problem with this is if you screw it out too much, if you make it too tight, the seat will go down and then it'll come back up on its own slowly because this, um, sorry, this has a limit. So there's a limit to how fast you want the return. If you like a fast return, this dropper is not that fast, in my opinion. I still like it, I'm still gonna use it, I'm not gonna replace it, but just something to keep in mind. There is a limit when it comes to, you know, how, how fast you want this return. That's one thing I, I kind of don't like. Um, the grips are okay, they're lock-ons. Got my uh, Spank Uzi pedals here. This is also something I added. This didn't come with the bike, obviously. You got one 50 millimeter Fox Rhythm, 34 millimeter stanchion fork, uh, 27.5 wheels, tubeless factory. The internal width here, I think, is 24 millimeter. This is kind of small, in my opinion. I wouldn't go any bigger than stock 2.4s uh, because I did find that running on a lower pressure, doing jumps and you know maybe landing sideways, this was burping and the sealant was coming out a little bit. So I do, I am planning to upgrade the rims down the road, but for now they seem okay. You know, just like any other new bike, you're gonna want to replace the rims on basically almost any you know stock setup. SLX rotors. This is another upgrade from the 2017 version. Uh, 2017 at Dior Rotors, the SLX bite better, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> Getting out the SLX uh, brake caliper there, or uh, sorry, pistons, brake pistons. The tires are high roller, Maxxis high roller 2, uh, 2.4s. I plan to maybe change this to a 2.5, uh, just for that extra grip when getting very aggressive. <laughs> Shock, it's a Fox float. 
uh, DPS uh, 140 millimeter it does have a little uh, o-ring down here so does the front fork it has o-rings um, I find this shock to be very plush and I find that I do leave it on the middle setting for the most part but when it comes to climbs I'm putting it on the firm or not really a lockout it's very firm it feels like a lockout almost but for climbs because I find that even on the middle setting um, I get a lot of sag and the problem with that is on those grueling long boring painful XC climbs the geometry gets slacker because it's bobbing or compressing and because it gets so slack I'm, I have a hard time climbing and uh, the front wheel you know kind of goes up a bit and I lose too much energy on the down the down pedal stroke so when it comes to XC climbing I put this here in the middle and I put this on the firmest setting and I find that to be excellent for XC climbs for trail climbs I just keep it on the middle setting and full open valve in the front seat's not bad it's a neutral I, I, I like this saddle for a stock saddle I'm not going to replace this I like it um, the dropper is controlled by a CO2 cartridge it's not hydraulic like the shitty reverb so I do like that and every two years you just replace the cartridge cost 60 bucks very easy to maintain uh, self maintenance very easy so I plan to keep this dropper we've got 11 speed uh, 1146 cassette I believe SLX long cage derailleur with a clutch so this is good I like this and standard I believe Shimano or KMC it's, in here. it's KMC I believe Yep, KMC chain. And I think I said this rocker is carbon, by the way, I like that. The only major thing I have um, with Giant cheaping out on this bike, you gotta cheap out on something, right? Is paint. I love the paint job, but I don't know if you can see that right there. Right there. See that? Look at that. If I can focus in there. Stupid gloves in over there. That's right to the frame. The metal is exposed. It's kind of my fault. It's rubbing against my bike rack, but I've never had a paint job on any of my other bikes kind of be that vulnerable. So it's just something to keep in mind. Um, I am going to fix that up with nail polish and be some protection. <laughs> but other than that, I think I think that's the real the only real thing that and the, the dropper lever. Are the only two things that I really kind of don't like about the bike. The bike weighs a little over 30 pounds. Um, I think that's it. Uh, the cranks are SLX. Uh, 170, I believe. Man, this camera just doesn't want to autofocus today. I just got to do manual here. Uh, this is a medium frame, so it's 17 inch. Uh, I, I, I'm pr I prefer medium. I'm 5'11 and a half. My inseam is between 30 and 31 inches. I don't have a long reach, so medium fits me well. Wheelbase ain't too bad. It's actually longer than my 2015 Kona Taro 29er wheelbase, so I'm happy about that because that wheelbase was just really small. Um, so I believe that's it. As for the dialing, I followed Fox's you know, recommendation. There's a sticker. There's a guide here on the fork like every other fork. I don't know if you can see all that, but um, I followed that. So basically, the rebound is set to, I don't know, four from counterclockwise or whatever. It's fourth highest rebound setting, because I'm a heavier guy, I'm a heavier rider. I bounce between 230 and kind of 205. The pressure on the front fork, for my weight right now, my weight, current weight with gear, I'm gonna say is about 220, Six two hundred twenty-seven pounds. So with that weight, I have the front fork pumped to about one hundred and eighteen psi. Maximum is rated one twenty. So this is a very plush fork. All my other forks had way higher P psi ratings. Maximum for this fork is one twenty. The rear, because the mid stroke is very very plush, 
Um, I have this set to 230. Well, 229, you know, once you lose a bit of pressure. 229 around there, 228 uh, PSI. And the rebound is at the box recommended, so I think it's important to the highest rebound. And I kept this on full, all both full open valves, and I went off a few jumps, and I did not feel like this was bucking me over. It felt perfect for me. So there you have it, 2018 Giant Trance 2. I will be releasing some, some new videos soon, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching.